Frazier impressed this spring. It looked as though he was going to make the team. However, now the outfield looks a lot different than it did in the spring due to injury. And you wonder whether or not Clint Frazier will get an opportunity or if he'll be on the outside looking in. You heard Aaron Boone say a little while ago that he's expected to play the outfield either Tuesday or Wednesday. He had simply been DHing because some issues in his foot. I caught up with Frazier earlier to ask him how the foot had been feeling. I started to feel it a little bit in spring training. Um, it really just felt like a bruise was on the bottom of my foot. It was never anything that nobody was able to recognize it whenever I was playing out there. I didn't really recognize it, but with the downtime that we had, I I wanted to address it, and I, I'm up to speed. You know, I, unfortunately, not able to, to do defense right now, but I am doing all the shagging. I'm doing the running. I. I know I can do all the things that they asked me to do. It's just I'm not the one making the program to go out there and do it. So I just got to be patient with that. But I am I'm healthy. I'm ready. And I don't think it's going to be a problem. He did say they are almost holding you back a little bit. Is that frustrating for you that you can't go out there and do everything 100 percent the way you would like? A little bit, a little bit, because, you know, part of the reason why it is frustrating is I feel like I could have gone by without anyone even knowing. You know, it would have it wouldn't have been a distraction. It wouldn't have been any questions. I could have gone here and done everything up to speed right away. But like I said, you know, they were the ones making the program. And I just I'm looking forward to whenever I can get out there and, and go 100 percent whenever they, you know, take me off the leash. You've been one of the guys that has opted to wear a mask throughout the course of the game when you're in the batter's box. What led to that decision? Because a lot of guys have chosen not to do that. And has that been difficult to, to do that while you're playing? Um, you know, I, I, I started by trying it in practice. Um, and then I tried it in the batting cage. And then I wanted to try it in the game because, you know, there are two people in the box with me. And they are, you know, close in proximity. And, and you know, I, I think that it's an easy task to, to do. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously here because I want to play. But we do have stuff that's going on around us. and. You know, there's a lot of people that have had, you know, this impact them in a way. And there are people in our organization that I'm trying to, to be respectful towards. And I'm just trying to overall make sure that I can do the best part that I can and, and make sure that our team does stay healthy because, you know, we have three guys right now that aren't here because of it. And, and I want to make sure that I'm not the reason why it spreads to anybody and that I can play if it does get spread to someone else. You know, I, I have to. Uh, this is a big year for me and I want to play and I want to make sure that if there is somebody out there that sees me wearing the mask, you know, maybe they'll do it as well. You know, it's just it's an easy thing to do and I'm it doesn't bother me at all. I mean, it, at first it was a little weird, but I feel like it's it's something that's just became second nature at this point. Thank you, Clint. Mm -hmm. Take the next question from Brian Hoke. Brian, go ahead and unmute. Hey, Clint, how are you? Good. How are you? Um, just real quick, which foot is it? My right foot. OK. Um, you were in line for to probably have a lot of playing time. Judge was hurt, Stanton was hurt in spring training. And so what was your mindset just when spring training shut down and, and when, you know, months were going by without games? Um, you know, it was it was frustrating, you know, just in the level of I knew that my playing time was was probably going to be limited the longer that the the layoff went on, but you know, obviously, those guys play a, a really big part in our team, and and I, I want to play, but I don't want it to be at the expense of somebody being injured and, and me playing because of that. Um, I want to earn it, you know. I mean, I feel like it's going to be a pretty bittersweet moment if that happens finally, because I've been trying to to win this job since I came over here, and I feel like I'm in a good position right now to you know, impact in whatever way that I can. It's just, I don't know what that will be. Um, but I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, pick up where I left off in spring because I felt like I was, you know, finally coming together in a lot of ways. Thank you. Take the next question from Brendan Cuddy. Brendan, go ahead and unmute. Clint, thank you for taking the time. I hope you're well. Thank you. In the spring, you were talking about uh, a swing change you were making. Uh, mm -hmm. something with your lower half have you done anything else differently and do you wonder if at all that swing change had anything to do with the uh, 
plantar fasciitis you're dealing with now? Um, I don't think it had, you know, any impact with the, the plantar fasciitis just because, you know, I've, obviously we don't know exactly what caused it. Um, right. My best guess would be I did put on anywhere from like 15 to 20 pounds of weight during spring training. Um, and that was something that I was told could have, you know, led to an impact of why my foot was becoming a little more sore. But I'm a little bit thinner now. Uh, I'm down about 15 pounds from what I was in spring. Um, and that is the reason why I think my foot is feeling a little bit better. Um, I mean, it feels 100% better. But, you know, the swing in spring, I think, helped lead to the numbers that I was having. And I'm, I'm trying to, you know, pick back up where I left off. I mean, I've, I've walked a couple times. I you know, hit a ball pretty good yesterday that, you know, was caught in the outfield, but it has been, I don't know how many months it's been since we saw live pitching, but I'm still trying to hit all these guys who are throwing 100 miles an hour right now. But uh, I feel good. I mean, I feel like it's only a matter of time before, you know, things get back to where I was in spring and hopefully be able to make an impact whenever that time is. Thank you, Clint. Mm -hmm. Dan Martin, you have the next question. Clint, uh, I just wanted to, to uh, clarify uh, or clear something up. Do you, you intend to wear the mask when, when you're playing during the regular season as well? That is something that I want to do, yes. You know, obviously, if it – if for some reason I can't, you know, like play my game the way that I want to and I feel like it's getting in the way, then maybe I'll take it off. But I do plan on, you know, trying to – go out there and, and do it because it's it hasn't been too hard so far right now. I'm obviously trying to play around with what mask I want to put in the box with me and, and what feels best running around the outfield, but I do plan on trying it, yes.